Oh, ladies and gents, uh, here's a, another presentation on homogeneous and inhomogeneous accretion and differentiation. In establishment astronomy, what they do is they have a bunch of protoplanets clumping together, you know, absent a gravitational field, absent heat, absent, you know, pressure. It, it, they just it all clumps together. So this is how they do things, okay? That's not the point. They just clumps all together. And then it ends up being a homogeneous ball. And this is the Earth <clears throat> as is. Homogeneous means same. Homo means same. So there's no differentiation. It's just a completely uh, solid thing or liquid thing that doesn't have any differentiation. There's no core. There's no mantle. There's no crust. It's all the same. And over time... Then they have the objects or the object differentiating. So the heavier material starts sinking after it's secreted together. So you have homogeneous secretion and then you have differentiation. To streamline this, uh, stellar metamorphosis uses inhomogeneous secretion. Now imagine a very, very big atmosphere around this object. But as it turns out, it layers like a pearl. You have a very tiny planet in the center or some object that's entered the star and over time it starts layering onto that central object and forming layers and layers and more layers so inhomogeneous secretion means there isn't the same throughout when it first starts it's more or less you become differentiated as you form which makes a lot more sense so you have a large, hot, young star, and it's very nascent uh, core, and then it's the, the star starts shrinking and layering material onto the core, and the core will get bigger and bigger, but very slowly as it ages. And the bigger the star, the smaller the core relative to how much mass was lost to begin with. So as the material is layered onto the central regions, obviously mass is lost via solar wind, solar flares, and that kind of stuff. And, you know, photo evaporation from hotter, younger hosts. Eventually, those atmospheres get ripped away and dissipate away and are subject to atmospheric escape when it hits a specific uh, level of, of, of gravitation to where the hydrogen can just... See you later, guys. Um, but it'll do that and then leave the little hard, rocky ball in the center. No matter what kind of rocky object you're looking at, this is Earth you know, with its layers, guaranteed it was at one point a much, much larger gaseous object. And if you're looking at gaseous objects, guaranteed it was probably once very, very, very energetic and hot and big like the sun because stellar birth is very violent and the kind of energies required to pull all that material together exceed uh, what is allowable via gravitational collapse alone. So it's a, it's electromagnetic phenomenon that births stars. Uh, not the accretion, this is, this is incorrect. 